key to a winning campaign is that it answers the questions in the minds of the voters. And this sounds so simple, but in fact, it took us, I think, some years to figure out. It's not the way we like to talk about the issue ourselves. It's really listening and hearing what the concern of the voters are. It organizes our base in order to communicate with those in the middle. And I think it's very easy for us to focus on middle voters, but in fact, we have to bring our base, we have to bring our supporters with us, in fact, explain the messaging, talk about the strategy, lay out the roadmap, to sort of get everyone on the same page. A winning campaign creates momentum, and I think part of what we saw in part was what's so brilliant about uh, the Yes Equality campaign is it just was wave after wave of momentum that it you know, it raises the question of what's going to happen next? I mean, who's going to come out next for, for yes, equality? I mean, it was almost breathless in watching that momentum. But momentum is not something that just happens. It also, in the early stages, must be created. And we have to find ways to build it. I also mentioned the idea of building momentum. And, and when we really launched our Freedom to Marry campaign, we were you know, kind of at a standstill. We had a series of losses that we had to come back from. And rather than letting someone else dictate, now you're going to be on the ballot, or now your bill is in the legislature, we created our own campaigns that allowed us to energize our base, to focus our efforts, and to start to build some momentum. So for example, we actually did an online um, signature campaign calling on the president to say, yes, I agree with the freedom to marry. And it wasn't popular with everyone, all of our Democratic friends are like, why are you putting the president on the spot? But we collected thousands and thousands of signatures to say, I do, Mr. President, come on out and just tell us that you're okay with this idea. We created a program called Mayors for the Freedom to Marry because each year of our work, we might be targeting three or four states for specific legislative victory or to go to the ballot or to win in court. But we have a big country. We needed something where someone in any state could get involved. So the idea was that even in some of the states that would be further down on our list, those activists could go forward and try to find some mayors that would come out and be supportive. 